Let's look today at Death Knight's Prebis. We're gonna break down all of the versions of DK Prebis before we start the launch, which is literally in, in 24 minutes. And I wanna go through really quickly where you can get all of your best items and where you can kind of like, like what are easy alternatives? What are easy alternatives? Okay. Starting off with Frost Prebis. We're just going to go through all of everything really fast and I'm going to move my face. Frost Prebis and, and Unholy Prebis both are really close realistically. Like both of the Prebises are really close and the only item that's actual Prebis for you that you should have already unless you were unlucky like me is Pauldrons of the Berserking. If, the, if you don't have Pauldrons of the Berserking, it sucks for you. Now you get to get a different shoulder. But the shoulder options are really easy to get. Um, you're literally going to get from your Sons of Hodir Revered your next best shoulder. So it's very easy to, to get an alternative if you don't have the current one, which is Pauldrons of the Berserking. And this is going to be the same situation for Unholy. Spike Titan Steel Helm. This is BOE. This will be needed to be made for you. And it is, I would say potentially decently expensive not nearly the the most expensive part but but realistically titan steel is going to go for a lot of gold this is really expensive for not being like re like really 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 good right and you have an alternative that is always going to be your uh chit and shell great helm unless you're racing for server first or world first or something like that. I, I honestly would say everyone going for Prebus and getting Spike's Titan Steel Helm, you shouldn't do it. I don't think you should do it. That's just like a genuine, honest opinion. But you should make sure your very first reputation is the first tabard you want to get is your Knights of the Ebon Blade, so you can get this reputation fast, so you can get your Helm Enchant. Your Shoulder Enchant is also the reputation Sons of Hodir. Those are the only really important reputations you need to focus on early. Um, also, once you get exalted with Knights of the Ebon Blade, you get your legs or your boots, which is the Death in Innerd Inured Sabatons. So Knights of the Ebon Blade, just get that uh, tabard as soon as you can. Next up, we have two Titanium pieces for your Prebis: Titanium Impact Choker, this is Frost, right? And Titanium Impact Ban. And Ring of the Kirin Tor. All of these things are stupid expensive not not the titanium impact choker and and band not nearly as much as like the titan steel bone crusher um but ring of the kieran tour is 8500 gold no matter what right this is ridiculously expensive again if you are not gonna be racing for server first or world first just get a realistic alternative with hemorrhaging circle you can get that, and Ring of the Scarlet Shadows is a BOE, also crafted item. This is really solid. You can put a 15 strength gem in it. You're almost always gemming strength, by the way, guys. Death Knights have the highest coefficient of strength to attack power in the game. It, for Unholy, it's like 2.7 attack power per strength. You're always gemming strength other than the one gem you have in your in your helm, which is going to be your uh, Nightmare tier or whatever, Enchanted tier, Enchanted tier. And then also, of course, make sure on your belt, you get like a belt buckle, but that's just, you can see right here, I have strength in my helm here and an enchanted tear on my belt. It doesn't change anything very easy. Okay, Cloak of the Bloodied Waters. This is BOE, it drops in Gundrak, Gundrak? Uh, da, 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 da. Whatever this one is, I think that's Gundrak. Is that, yeah, that's Gundrak, yeah, Gundrak, okay. It drops in Zoldrak. Zoldrak. Whatever. It drops in there. It drops really often. You're going to find it. Even on like mega servers, you're not going to expect this to be like 10,000 gold. It's going to be super cheap. This is super easy to grab. Uh, your your chest piece and your gloves for everyone's prebis for the most part is always going to be your, your Scourgeborn or your like tier set that you just get from your badges. That's easy to grab. Your belt, you can also get a really solid, like belts are, are like badge, belt, belts are easy. Staggering leg plates, this is a drop from Heroic Utgard, Pen Utgard Keep, Heroic Utgard Keep. Again, a very easy thing to drop, like just realistically, you're probably gonna hard res it. You're just gonna tank it and get like your free flasks from the, the frat flasks you get for tanking dungeons now. Vengeance Bindings, another BOE item. It's crazy how many of these items literally aren't drops. It's another BOE item, another one that you can farm and, and have crafted for you. 
It's amazing. It should be decently cheap, but I would expect this to be like 2,000 gold. But I think you should be able to farm this a lot easier. Reaper of Dark Souls, another one from Ebon Blade. That's why Ebon Blade is so important. Ebon Blade is giga, giga important. Because you're literally getting your helm enchant, you're getting your weapon. Also, if you don't get Titan Steel Bone Crusher, you're literally using two Reapers of the Dark Souls. They're not unique. So you're using two of these if you don't have Titan Steel Bone Crusher, and you're getting your boots. This is your most important uh, reputation. Like it is, there's no question about it. Make sure you're getting this and then getting Sons of Hodir. So Reaper of Dark Souls is your offhand. Again, if you're not getting Titan Steel Bone Crusher, that's literally going to be your main hand also. You're going to use two of them. But, 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 Titan Seal Bone Crusher is your best main hand. It is slightly faster, but it hits way harder. The DPS is a lot higher. It's got expertise. It's really nice. It's going to be stupid expensive. Again, I would suggest just like the Titan Seal Helm, just like Titanium Impact Band, Ring of the Kirin Tor, and Titanium Impact Choker, all of those items I literally would not get if I was not getting World First or Server First. I, I would not get it. Titan Steel is going to be stupid expensive. Don't do it. Moving on to this side, we obviously have Sigil of Haunted Dreams. Easy to get. Mirror of Truth, super easy to get. 40 badges. Darkman Card Greatness. If you're going to spend gold on anything, just spend it on Darkman Card Greatness. Even if it's like 30,000 gold, just wait a couple weeks. This is where you spend your gold. Everything else will be, re everything will be replaced in, in uh, Tier 1 or in Phase 1. Ring the Kirin Tor, don't buy it. I don't think you should buy it. I don't think it's worth it. Unless you're, again, going for World First. That's pretty much the real, real Biss. But Easy Biss, change out all of those things. Meteorite Whetstone, Utgard Pinnacle Heroic. This is phenomenal. And if you're an, a dueled Unholy, this is literally your Biss the entire phase. So you're even going to want to go after this. You do replace, for, for Frost, actual Biss. Right? You do you do replace Frost Actual Bis. Load this, please. Thank you. Mirror of Truth. You will replace that with Grim Toll. But again, I, I just this phase prebis is so expensive for how easy the content is. So going back to the easy prebis, we have uh Chit and Shell Great Helm, Gold Amulets of the Kings, another easy item to get. This is literally Sons of Hodir shoulders, like I mentioned earlier. Just from Revered, you have to get Sons of Hodir rep anyways. Easy to grab. Double Reaper of Dark Souls. You're still getting Sagaring Leg Plates, Ver Verdungos, Barbarian Cord, and uh, Death in your Sabatons. These are all should be like no problem getting. Hemorrhaging Circle, it's another drop. Ring of Scarlet Shadows, the one that I said earlier, that's BOE. That's what you're farming for, for easy Prebis, okay? Unholy real Prebis. Very similar situation. Titan Steel Bone Crusher is again going to be your main hand. Titan Steel, uh, Spike Titan Steel Helm is going to be again over there. We also have Ring of the Kirin Tor. Super expensive. You do change two of your your titanium items turn to the, the titanium Earth Guard Ring and titanium Earth Guard Chain instead of titanium Impact. Does it matter that much? No. And Again, there's going to be alternatives. So I'll, I'll tell you about the alternatives. The other things that change is you're actually going to get this Bracers instead of the Vengeance Wrap, um, which is Bands of the Stone Forge. Easy to get. Drop. Grass Cutter is literally from 50 badges. This is going to be your, your offhand Biss. Although, if you need hit, you have a really easy another alternative option from Heroic Utgard Pinnacle, which I'll tell you guys in a second, which is really nice to get. Uh, as our boots, we have Obliterator Glee, Greaves, and then you still have your two-piece from, from your badges. Meteorite Whetstone, like I mentioned earlier, is literally going to be your Biss, and you get Sigil of the Wild Buck. Now, Sigil comes from, like, Grizzly Hills dailies or whatever the quests are. Don't avoid those. Maybe go there at, like, 74 and go grab them if you're doing your dungeon questing. An easy pre-Biss would be they do the same ring, Scarlet Shadows, Hemorrhaging Circle. Don't stress about buying... You're about to drop like 20,000 gold on your rings for no reason. Maybe that's like a massive over-exaggeration, but just the, the Kirin Tor ring is literally 8,500 gold, and it is like such a minuscule DPS upgrade. I can sh We can sim it if we want, but we don't have time. We have 14 minutes to lunch. What about the clams? Yeah, what about the clams? Um... 
The, the alternative weapon that I was talking about earlier is Red Sword of Courage. This is from Heroic Utgard Pinnacle. Tanks also kind of want this, but it's too fast, I think, for, for tanks, right? It's too fast for warrior tanks. It's probably, I don't even know if, yeah, I guess pally tanks might want it. This should be easy to get. This should be really easy to get. Um, I need to know if this blue post is real. Let's see. This is a fake. This is a fake blue post where they where they fixed an issue where people were were prequesting. It's a fake blue post. You can prequest. There's a lot of fake blue posts going around today. Uh, your cloak is still the same, cloak of bloody waters. But again, you're just getting these easy alternatives, which is chain shell, great helm, and gold amulet of kings. For the most part, it's really easy to get most of these items. Although I would probably shell out for the weapon. I will probably shell out for the weapon. Let me, this is what I'm probably looking like, guys. Polarons of Berserking, Spike Titan Steel Helm. You are a jewel crafter, so you're looking at your jewel crafting gems. Uh, Cloak of Bloody Waters. I don't know if I'm getting the King Iron Tor Ring, but I might. Hemorrhaging Circle. Uh, I will grab Darkman Card Greatness, and you should too. Fell Fury Leg Plates, because I have those. Uh, I might change the belt from this. And I would suggest getting Titan Steel Bone Crusher. I just, it, it's not necessary. If you're not, again, if you're not going super try hard, it's super expensive, but it is, it is amazing. So that is literally that quickly, all of your pre gear, guys. That is it. Let's now do, do a, do a dance. Okay. That's your pre gear. Tra la 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 la. Congratulations. Go farm your pre -bis. It should be easy. It should be really easy, and there's good alternatives to everything. The full Priebus is stupid expensive. BOE, 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 buy ring, 